I'm sorry about last week, Mom. I <laughs> I would have I would have uh, recorded more of myself, but I don't know why I didn't. However, this week I'll record more. Uh, the Monday night started uh, reasonably reasonably steady, and. Uh, Towards the middle of the night, between midnight and two, it was a little slow. There wasn't much going on, but uh, after after three, I was surprised to have a few good fares. Uh, very good, actually. I guess I did about a little over two hundred. It was okay for a for a Monday night. You know, if you do 200 or more, it's okay. You're just getting your feet wet. You're just talking about getting feet wet. It's raining right now. I'm getting dripped on. That's why I took my glasses off because they're a pain to clean when they're, they get drops on them. And uh, those glasses, they just attract dirt like you wouldn't believe. I'd prefer glasses that were would stay cleaner longer. So they're in my pocket. What else about tonight? Oh yeah, had one customer. He went from the gorge to Denny's, and I took the back roads to uh, avoid the traffic lights. If you take the main roads, you get all the traffic lights, and you got to wait for all of them to change. But I took the back roads, so we went over a few speed humps, and we made a couple of turns. And then, then the guy in the back seat says, "Where the fuck are we?" And I said, we're right the fuck behind Danny's. And I turned the corner, and there we were at Danny's. <laughs> and that was the end of that. <laughs> Told, showed him a thing or three. <laughs> uh, what else? I don't know. I had, had a hooker from one end of town to the other. And she rem remembered me because I have a spotlight to see addresses. And she remembered that from the last time. And she said, you're the guy who watches movies on his phone, right? <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, I do that a lot, yeah. Uh, what did I watch last night? Hmm. Just some stupid documentaries. Stuff about pyramids and time travel and crap like that. Things that wash up on beaches, that was another one. And, uh, what was that other one? Oh well, it doesn't matter. It didn't leave a lasting impression on me. I'll get back to this tomorrow. Wednesday morning. The Thursday night was nothing special. It was quite slow. And by around 10 o'clock, I had about $70 on or so, and then I got a call to the peeler bar and this young couple wanted to go through the McDonald's um, that I'm looking at right now. Speed bumps. And so they went through the drive through at McDonald's and got a large fries. And then they wanted to go out to the Western communities. The girl was going to um, halfway up Bear Mountain. And then the guy was going to the West Hills subdivision and that was a grand total of $56 including the tip uh, well it was 50 without the tip so uh, tip me six bucks and then the next call from the same place I got sent there and then there were two cabs from the company that pays for the stand there sitting there waiting and I showed up and uh, this guy and this girl come out and the girl is crying and the guy opens the door and says his name and I said yeah that's who I'm for and he told me the name of a hotel and then she got in and was crying sobbing totally emotional and 
out of control crying. And as we're driving along, she blubbered between between sobs something and something devil and something something I didn't understand and I even said I don't understand and she said uh, something of something else something else under this and over that and something else and I said look I don't understand you all I know is and I told her the name of the hotel that's where I'm going right she said right so I got her there, and she, in between sobs, how much do I owe you? I said six twenty. She gave me a twenty and said I want ten back. And then she got out and she slammed the door pretty hard. Then she went to the lobby, and of course the lobby was locked, so the uh, night auditor had to come over and open the door for her. Anyway, I didn't understand any of that, and I'm not going to speculate. But my next customer was very pleasant, and I told her this story and. She was going, oh, that's, that's really strange. I say, yeah, no kidding. Anyway, that was a pleasant ride. After that, I did not have a lot of business. I went to sleep once, and I think I was between calls for three hours. Then I had a call, and I did that call, and, and then I went back to the parking lot and started watching where I had left off watching videos that is and fell asleep again and then when I got another call I ended up waking up at the same place where I woke up the last time so grand total was under 200 I didn't even use $10 worth of gas and I'm gonna go park it now because it is 12 minutes after 6 in the morning on a Wednesday. Such was the Tuesday night. Even though I slept most of the morning, I'm still tired. Oh, and look, there's day shift waiting for me. Oh, I'll just pull in behind me. Yeah. the Wednesday night the Wednesday night started off real slow it took an hour and a half to get my first call and then it was just taking this guy up the road from Walmart a few blocks it was like a six dollar fare the next one was half an hour later and it was also short it took me till around midnight to break even fuel and gas uh, lease and fuel and I watched a lot of some videos about speaking to the dead and about the afterlife or supposedly what we think might be happening after we die and trying to get through a video about um, an abandoned Victorian mansion but I keep getting calls and I kept getting calls now in the morning so now I had one to the airport it is now it was a three o'clock time call I was there at 255 we just cleared at 320 and I'm heading back into town and I'll have another couple hours to work after I'm down there. Or watch videos, depending. So the night was basically saved by one trip to the Western Communities for 25 bucks. Just around the time I was breaking even. And this fare here, which brought me to the airport for $56 I think it was something like that can't complain there so uh, that'll keep me out of the soup line I was scared how slow it was
get around this stupid, ridiculous thing. And if nothing exciting happens, I'll talk to you sooner. Oh, once again, the airport. Yeah, here we are at the airport once again, and um, yeah, I got back into town, started to watch a video. I think I watched video for about 10 minutes, and after that 10 minutes, I got another call not too far away. And she came out here. <clears throat> That's two runs to the airport in the morning. I think we, we've got our mojo back. We've got our mojo back. What? How much? Oh, I'm doing well. I'm doing just fine. I'm at around 275 maybe. That's an all right place to be. Uh, yeah, can't complain. Now back to town to finish watching some videos. <laughs> the thing is, almost all the business tonight was in Iraq. I think I got like $30 in cash and the rest of it it's all paperwork. It's all credit and debit and stuff like that. Okay, maybe this is it for the night. It's Friday morning. It's 10 minutes to 4. And here we are again at the airport. This was, uh, well, what kind of a night was it? It was slow at the beginning and the trips were short. The trips were short and it took me until uh, about midnight to break. No, I think I broke even a little before midnight, but it felt later. And I didn't have anything too bizarre happen tonight. Um, most of the people were okay, but I found that just some things were off. You know when you have a, one of those nights where the pace isn't quite right and it's just when you want to watch something on your phone that you get a call and just when you're trying to get somewhere somebody gets in your way or you're trying to find an address on the side of the road and somebody gets close behind you and honks at you instead of just driving around you and leaving you alone it was one of those. Well, right now I'm at about well, well over 200. Let's just say that. Well over 200 and I still got two hours to go. I might just watch the movie that I'm watching and it's called The Humanoid. I just started watching The Humanoid. It looks like a 1970s science fiction you know where the astronauts are wearing things that look like football helmets it's a little bit like a cross between Battlestar Galactica and Star Wars but ten times as cheesy <laughs> they even have guys wearing metal or, or helmets like uh like Darth Vader or or like uh, Rick Moranis in Spaceballs, if you remember that one. So there's some kind of weirdness going on there. Oh, yeah. Hate roundabouts. But you know that already. So anyway, the night, yeah, it was one of those weird ones, but it's, it's turning out okay now. I'm doing all right. And look at that. We got new lenses. Did I mention that before? New lenses on our headlights so we can actually see the road now. Because the old lenses were all full of condensation and and they got all um, foggy. Yeah. If I didn't mention that already, I, I'm doing it now. So what is it? This is 
um, taxi vlog 452 I think I'll have to check on that for the time being it's 452 okay let's get back into town now and I'll get back to you tomorrow or something like that I just dropped the guy off here. Uh, here's what happened. It was a busy night. Busy, busy, busy. One after another. Busy, busy, busy. And now it's 3 o'clock, so... Or 10 after 3, so now it should be slowing down. But it was so busy that I couldn't get a breath in edgewise between trips. And they were all mostly short trips under $10. So it's, you know... Take somebody somewhere for a few bucks. Drop them off. As soon as I'm dropping off, get another call. Get another call. Roundabout. Piece of shit. Get another call. Drop them off. Get another call. Drop them off. Get another call. Drop them off. Somebody else gets in. Drop them off. Get another call. Drop them off. And it's like that. I've done like 30 trips. You know, from 6.30 to 3.11. So I, I worked for it. I worked hard. One right after another. And so, now I don't mind taking it easy a little bit. I've got about... Uh, I don't know, $350 on, something like that. $350 on and I still have three hours left to go it's one quarter of the shift left to go so I've been doing okay and this guy I was sent to go pick him up and a couple doors away there's all these police cars, and I'm going, oh, geez, I hope I'm not, I'm glad I'm not going to that thing. When I get to the door of this house, or get to the front of this house, there's a policewoman at the front door, and the door's open, and another policewoman's walking up next to the car, I'm in the driveway, and she asked me if I'm, uh, coming here to pick somebody up and I said yeah I was sent here to pick somebody up from this place so she says oh so anyway next thing you know there's some two police officers are helping this guy out of the house and he tells the story that some 16-year-old kid... No, I'm not going there. I told you already. Fuck off. God, I hate that thing. Tries to send me all the way across town or way out to the western communities to take somebody nowhere. I'm not going there. I'm coming back in the sandwich. He'll go fuck himself. No... I'm not going out there. They try to send me out to the Western communities. No, I don't want to work out there. I'm not a Langford car. Drive great distances empty to take somebody nowhere. No, thank you very much. Anyway, apparently the story is that some kid wanted to... Uh, wanted to have relations with this guy's daughter. The daughter is 17 years old, the kid is 16. And he wanted to do this right in front of this guy. So he threw him out of the house. The kid said he didn't want to go. But the, the girl's father, this guy I took to the hospital, threw him out of the house. And the kid was coming back in. And so 
the kid runs away and the daughter is holding the dad back from getting to him and then she scratches him on the neck and he gets away from his daughter and he chases after the guy they jump off a, an embankment with a hard sidewalk below and basically the guy lands on his leg on his foot and he breaks or sprains or messes up something he's unable to walk properly he hopped into the emergency room uh, on one foot that was the drama for tonight and yeah we got just under three hours to go hopefully I'm not too busy I want to relax a little bit okay I wouldn't say no to a, an airport trip or two but I don't want to work hard I worked hard enough. Hope yours is better than mine.